apes now rule the planet, while humans live in the shadows. An ape takes on a deadly mission with a human girl, but she has plans of her own that will decide the future of the planet. Many years after Caesar's death, the ape population has formed multiple tribes, while humans have devolved into a feral condition. Noah, a chimpanzee from a falconry ape tribe commanded by his father Koro, prepares for a big ceremony marking his transition into adulthood. He and his friends Anaya and Suna collect eagle eggs for the event. However, their plans fall apart when a human scavenger follows Noah back home and accidentally breaks his egg during a confrontation before fleeing. In his search for a new egg, Noah comes across a dangerous band of ape raiders. While evading them, the raiders follow Noah's horse back to his clan's location. When Noah returns, he finds his village in flames and witnesses the raiders' commander, Silva, murdering his father Koro before getting knocked out. Noah wakes to the grim reality that his family and tribe have been taken captive. After burying his father, he starts on a mission to save his family. Along the way, he is joined by an orangutan named Raka, who shares wisdom inspired by Caesar's teachings. Their journey is shadowed by the persistent presence of the human scavenger from before. Raka is nice to the scavenger, bringing her food and shelter, and giving her the name Nova. The trio is suddenly attacked from Silva's marauders while approaching a group of wild humans. Noah and Raka come to Nova's rescue, only to find out that she can speak. Nova, now known as Mate, reveals that the raiders have brought Noah's tribe to a village near the seashore, which is located outside an old human vault. As they approach the village, Silva ambushes them while they cross a bridge. During the chaos, Raka saves Mate from drowning, but Silva breaks the rope Raka was holding onto, causing him to be washed away by the river. Noah and May are eventually captured and transported to the ape's beachfront camp. Here, Noah reunites with his clan and meets the self-proclaimed ape king, Proximus Caesar. Proximus has pushed Noah's clan into forced labor in an attempt to uncover the mysteries of the human vault and its technology. Proximus offers an invitation to Noah, Mate, and Trevathan, a human prisoner who is teaching Proximus about ancient human culture. Proximus assumes Noah has the key to the vault and warns him about Mate, suggesting she may have hidden goals. Noah confronts Mate, demanding the truth in return for his help. Mate discloses information about a secret entry to the vault and a mysterious book capable of restoring human voice. In exchange for her information, Noah promises to help her reach the vault, with plans to destroy Proximus' village and guide his clan back to safety. Along with Suna and Anaya, Noah and May discreetly set up explosives around the sea levee that surrounds the vault and village. Their plans are interrupted by Trevathan, who tries to alert Proximus, causing May to kill him. As the group enters through the hidden entrance, they discover the vault to be a former military stronghold, stocked with weapons. While May's book serves as a critical code for a satellite system, meanwhile, the apes discover old picture books representing humans as the dominating species, raising questions about May's true intentions. As they exit the bunker, Proximus and his tribe surround the group, threatening to kill Suna. Mage intervenes by shooting one of the apes holding Suna. Proximus offers to spare May's life if she reveals the location of the other weapons, but she refuses. Instead, she detonates the bombs, flooding the bunker as the apes are still inside. May escapes the settlement while the apes fight to find higher ground within the flooded bunker. Noah, followed by Silva, ultimately traps him, killing him in the river. When the clan emerges from the bunker, they face Proximus, who demands Noah's surrender. In resistance, Noah rallies his clan to call their eagles, launching an attack on Proximus, who falls off a cliff and seems to be dead. When Noah's clan returns to their country for reconstruction, Mate bids them farewell. May feels humans deserve a second chance, given that they were previously the dominant species. However, 
Noah is skeptical about the possibility of peaceful coexistence between apes and humans. May travels to a human community on a quarantine satellite station, where she delivers the decipher key that will let people restore communication with others across the world. Meanwhile, Noah and Suna look through a telescope with their attention fixed on something in the sky. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.